Welcome to Google SketchUp Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn how to import components from 3D Warehouse and scale those components if they do not fit the exact size of the component that you are looking for. So in this example, I'm going to use a couch as an example. Uh, you can see my default tray. I have components expanded here and you will see 3D Warehouse here. So clicking on home actually shows you the components that are in your model. But we can type in something in here. So we can type couch into that dialog box and it's going to search 3D Warehouse. Now we can scroll through here and find some descriptions, uh, different uh, models um, when we can select that model. And it's going to open up another dialog box, which is going to give you some additional details. Um, so it has units of measure, etc., in there. So I can select download, and that's asking me if I want to load this directly into your SketchUp model. I'm going to select yes, and that is going to allow me to place my model or my couch into SketchUp. And I'm obviously going to have to rotate that to get that on the correct plane just going to delete that one for now so I'm going to use my selection tool select delete and you will see if I click on my home button you will see that is still couch is still in there decided not to use it but that is going to take up some memory it's going to slow your sketch up down a bit so we want to go up to window model info and we're going to go into our uh, statistics and we're going to purge unused so that will we see component instances is one here we're going to purge unused because we're not using that and that deletes that out of our model so we don't want to keep unused components in there so you saw when i typed couch inside 3d warehouse or uh, google sketchup um, you will see it listed these in there all by couch and you'll see it says 8717 um, and you may not find the one you like and it is easier to actually sketch or, or search inside uh, 3d warehouse by itself so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to 3d warehouse.sketchup.com and i'm going to search inside that so i'm going to search for couch inside there and we have some options here so we have products which we can find some in the product so if we found a couch that we liked in here for instance this one that did not show up in the other uh, search inside sketchup we can select that couch and then we can select download and we will get uh we'll select our model there and that has downloaded that into um, our download directory or the other option is to actually copy that text and then go back to our sketchup and we can search warehouse by that so if we search by that we copy and paste it that is a couch there so we can insert it directly into there if we wanted to use the one we downloaded we can go to file import and that will bring us to our our dialog box uh, our windows explorer and we could scroll through that and find that file we just downloaded it is a little bit easier to use this way so i'm going to select <clears throat> this couch here it will bring up this box again a little more information and select download it asked me if i want to put this directly into sketchup model so that's a little bit of the advantage of using it this way as to pose to downloading and importing it so this will import my couch right into SketchUp. So uh, that is now imported into SketchUp. I'm just gonna close off my components box there and make some adjustments to this couch. So it is actually in the right plane. There we go. That looks like it's in the right plane and it may be just a little bit too big. So I can take some measurements on this. Um, I may want to scale it slightly. Maybe it's hanging out over a doorway a bit, but we want to get um, the overall idea of our layout with our furniture in place. So what we can do is we can actually scale this component. To scale this component, we're going to use our scale command up here and we're going to select the component and we see all these nodes green all the way around 
and what we can do is you can just drag these um, but you do not really know you'll look if you notice down in the bottom right hand corner you will see my scale changing but we may not want to change the overall scale maybe we just want to change the actual length so in order to change that actual length again selecting the scale command selecting that object we could select this red node there in the middle and we could just scale that down and it's going to scale everything in that direction so we could do that in other directions we could scale it downwards as well but typically we're going to be dealing with lengths and depths not necessarily heights so we could just select that and again you do not know exactly um, you, exactly how much or the distance you're changing this to down in the bottom corner you're going to see it's just going to be a percentage so at that point you'll see 0 0.70 so I'm scaling that down by 70 percent uh, that may not be the best solution but if we do some measurements on this we could actually scale it to the exact distance that we want if I know the size of the couch that I have allocated room for I could draw a rectangle just representing the base of that so if I had a rectangle or a couch that I've allocated and I'm going to say 130 inches by 40 inches was my couch size then I am going to draw a rectangle that matches those dimensions and it looks this may look bigger or longer but that's just a 3d perspective but if we actually look possibly at the top view of that you're going to see that this triangle is not as big as that couch so the tri or the rectangle is the size that we wanted and you can see that couch is a little bit longer um, so we're, if we want to scale down to that size now that we have that rectangle I can actually move that couch just onto a corner so I'm going to move this couch over there and place it that it should snap onto that corner and put that on that corner and then we can actually we have that rectangle or as, as a guide so we can now scale that come that couch down we can actually look at uh, the bottom view or the top view um, we're looking at the bottom view here that will help us see the rectangle so we're going to select our scale command select that couch and we can drag that down and we can just get approximately approximately in there and we could just select that left click again and now that couch is the correct size that we wanted you can scale this exactly uh, point to point um, by moving this exactly on the point and scaling that on the point exactly as well and now we could just go ahead and delete our rectangle and our couch is scaled to the proper size if we want to get a precise uh, dimension on that precise measurement and we can make sure that that snaps onto that edge there selecting our scale command selecting our component and we should be able to drag actually we want to move that first we want to move this over to that corner there snap that on that location and I should have moved it down the other location but we'll scale this end down here and we're going to select the scale command we want to scale that component and we'll select this point and we should be able to drag that right onto that edge it snaps onto the midpoint of that edge and now we have that couch scaled to the exact dimensions that we want move the couch out of the way use your select tool and erase the rectangle you drew and now you can go place that couch in the room that you wanted so just as a recap use the 3d warehouse that is easier to search for components you can search products as well as models and the same thing goes for models there is lots of couch descriptions in there you could uh, make your couch or your your description um, a little bit uh, add any information to that um, maybe it's a pull out couch if you wanted to add pull out couch you would probably get some different answer or different uh, results from that uh, search for pull out couch and you're going to get lots of different variations so 
be a little bit specific if whatever you're looking for is not showing up. And again, just click on that, copy that text, go back into 3D or Google SketchUp, uh, select on components, and search for that name in there. And that will pop up. Select that option, download, load directly into SketchUp. And now we could go scale that to the size we wanted as well. You may find components that you import actually have components within components. So say we wanted to try and delete these green arm uh, cushions here. So um, if we select that component, right click and explode, you will still see that it is contains a, a component still. So there was a component within a component. So we're going to explode this one more time. And now we have different components in that chair. So or that couch so we could select those individual pieces like that. Um, but when you go to move this, you probably want to make that a component first. So we're going to select it all. Make sure we have it all selected. And then we're going to use our right click, make component, and we're going to make a component called new chair or new couch. Select OK. And you will see that pops up in our components list here. So we might want to purge the one that we're not using. So again, back up to window, uh, model info, statistics, purge unused. And you will see that original component that we brought in is gone. And it is just this new chair that we created here without those cushions.